I'm concerned uh, these long sessions are not uh, difficult at all. Any long television thing is not difficult. It's uh, the adrenaline is pumping a little faster, and uh, and uh, excitement level is high, and uh, I, I enjoy it. Uh, Open-ended broadcasting gives you a chance to say a few things you haven't had a chance to say in more limited time of a structured program. Uh, Cassie Mackin with NBC News. And you're a floor correspondent here? Yeah. How have things been going? It's been very dull. <laughs> Why is that? Well, you've been here. I guess it's, uh, it looks to me like it's uh, you know, a very packaged, plastic kind of thing with very little spontaneity. What's happening here? Mainly uh, entertainment, uh, kind of a scene setting show put on by the Republicans. Is this like a regular news show? Would you consider this a news show? No, it's the ultimate collision. It's their television program and our television program. What kind of stories do you cover here on the floor? Well, tonight I have covered none. So it's been kind of dull? A little bit. Why yes. haven't you been able to cover any stories tonight? Well, because so much of the action, you see, CBS quadrants the floor. And the states that I have, I have about 16 or 17 states, really there's not been a good deal of action in. Most of the action has come over on that side of the floor or over in the uh, VIP area, and Dan Rather has that section. We're here to cover an event. The event is the Republican National Convention. I see. If you could loosen up the format a bit and sort of maybe get more kind of ad advocacy reporting, would you advocacy do anything reporting? different? No. No. I don't... <laughs> I am not a big fan of advocacy reporting. It seems to me that my chore is to tell what happens, analyze a little bit what happens, if I can, try to go into the background, try to reveal what happens underneath the surface, underneath the surface. But as for advocacy, if you, if that's you not to, mine. If you had an open rein on what you wanted to cover tonight, what would you, how would you go about it? Here, I think I might rather watch it at home. <laughs> Honest. Okay, thanks a lot. What's news? Well, Richard Nixon, I think, is going to be nominated. And Spiro Agnew is going to be nominated. They're going to adopt the platform. And they have some uh, matters to solve with respect to rules. The Republicans are trying, in a sense, to show that the Democrats aren't the only ones who reform. Uh, what would you generally define as, new, as something that's news? Things that happen. Just don't have time? You didn't have time for me the last convention either, but Maureen interviewed, didn't you? You don't speak at all? How come you're so much trouble tonight? I think we got a good interview going so far. You won't say anything, Nancy. I think he's serious about it. To me, and he won't even tell me no. Right? And he won't tell me why. No, I'm serious. Can you just give me a reason why why he won't speak to me? You're just tired? Okay, that's real good. That's fine. I can understand that. See you later. Do you believe him? <laughs> you think he's really tired? I don't know. This is the Republican Convention drag. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. How about yours? Thank you. Did you like the way I played? I'm not a music critic. <laughs> he said he's not a music critic. 